Now let's talk about motivation because motivation is extremely important for creativity. Motivation is divided into intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is what Einstein called the enjoyment of seeing and searching. In other words, it's doing something because it truly gives you joy and personal fulfillment. This is a huge source of creativity if you enjoy what you're doing. But there's also extrinsic motivation. And extrinsic motivation is external factors that encourage people to pursue a goal. Yes, money is one of them. But the problem with money is that while it can get people moving, it doesn't support creativity. And sometimes money can actually hinder creativity because people see it as a bribe to get them to do something. But there are other forms of extrinsic motivators that do encourage creativity, and we'll talk about that now. The first is rewarding people with experiences that support the creative process. So for example, rewarding them not with money, but rather with funding to go to conferences or travel to locations that might ignite people's learning or innovativeness. For example, allowing them to visit startups in China. The other is allowing people to see that they've made progress on some sort of a task. This is what Amabile calls the progress principle. Seeing that you've made progress can be one of the most motivating experiences to ignite creativity. In her research, Amabile found that on days where people made progress, people felt more positive emotions, such as being upbeat, joyful, and prideful. They were also more intrinsically motivated on these days, meaning they reported feeling like they enjoyed the tasks they were doing even more. They had a better liking for the job. And even small wins, something showing you are on the right path, can represent progress. On the flip side, small losses can be incredibly discouraging, more so than small wins are encouraging. So my challenge for you as a manager is what can you do to acknowledge the progress that your employees or your teammates are making? What can you do to make even small wins stand out? Because remember, this too is a form of extrinsic motivation. It's coming from the external environment to motivate the individual.